Hello, I'm Sarah from South London Sling Library. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to use the Baby Bjorn Mini Baby Carrier. So the carrier comes in two pieces. You've got the parent harness and the, car and the baby carrier. So I'm just going to pop this section down for now. So with the parent harness, the, one of the important things to remember is that this plastic section on the back of the straps is movable. So when you're wearing the carrier, make sure that where the um, straps cross is fairly low on your back, round about um, between your shoulder blades or bra strap level, is, is where most people find it comfortable. But what you can do is get another adult just to move that, um, that section of the carrier up and down on your back to find where your sweet spot is, and that will just help you to be as comfortable as possible. So, holding this section, so that I can read the logo. I'm just going to swing it behind me and put it on like a jacket. There you go. And then down at the bottom here, it's got two plastic clips. They're labelled left and right. And they are to clip into the uh, plastic clip on the baby carrier section. So, if I then grab the carrier section, hold it the right way up against my body and then I'll just support it with my hand and allow it to flop forwards. What you have inside is the plastic clip that these clip into. So that one says right and that one says left. There you go. Now I can snug this up here, already use these straps just to tighten and what that does is tightens this harness around my body. So, now I need my baby. This is Jamie. Jamie's about the size of a newborn. Not quite as curled up as most newborns are, but hey-ho. So all I'm going to do is hold my baby on my chest in the way that I would exactly if Jamie was a real baby. I'm going to pop a hand under the carrier section and just smooth it up Jamie's back so that now I'm holding Jamie and the carrier. Just moving baby's hands towards their face, it's generally where newborns like their hands. I can then take the blue clip and slide it into the blue hole on the parent harness. And then same on the other side, I've got a red clip that's going to slide into the red hole on the parent harness. I'm going to take the headrest, I don't want the headrest to swamp the baby, I just want it to support to the top of the neck. So I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to use the clips there to secure it so that it stays down. Lovely. Now, Jamie is only small. Jamie is a small newborn. So if I just reach inside the carrier on this strap as it runs down and into the carrier, you'll find there's a tiny little loop of fabric and that goes around that button there just to help to close that small gap and I can do exactly the same on the other side find the extra loop and pop it round the button on the outside of the carrier Baby Bjorn recommend that you do that for babies between 7 and 10 pounds so yeah, to make sure that my baby is secure my baby is held in the position that I would naturally hold them in, high on my chest. They're not too low, they're nice and high on my chest. Baby is close enough to kiss. The carrier is nice and tight. It's as tight as if I were holding baby in my arms. If I support the baby's head and dip forward, I don't feel the body weight pull away from me at all. The baby is that securely held. Their nose and mouth are in view, so I can see they've got plenty of space around their face. Their airways are open. The chin is off their chest, nice and secure. So, to take the baby out, I'm basically going to do exactly the same in reverse. So first thing I'm going to do is undo my little buttons on the outside here. Second one, there it is. Then I'm going to unclip the top clips. And then I'm still supporting the baby's weight. I'm going to unclip the lower clips. To do these clips, you have to squeeze the back portion, the coloured portion, squeeze and lift it out of its hole. Same on the other side, squeeze, 
and lift. And then I can lift my baby clear. There you go. If you'd like to reserve the Baby Bjorn Mini, you can do so online at southlondonslings.myturn.com. If you'd like to see any of our slings and carriers in person, you can come to any of our drop-in sessions or book a workshop or a one-to-one -one private consultation um, through our website at southlondonslings.co.uk. I hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Bye.